Good morning. So, Kiseitzi Lamachama is Al Oyevecha. When you go out to war, you don't go out to war with your enemy. You go out to war above your enemy. That means when you go with Hashem, you go with God, you are above your enemy. And that's what the Torah is telling us. When you go out into the world, you can make a dwelling place for God. You can look at the world as your enemy because you don't see God in the world. It's the opposite of godliness. Godliness is light. World is darkness. So it's a contradiction. But the Torah says that you have to go out into the world and Hashem is the one that gives you the koyach. The strength. But it says also the Shaviso Shivyoy. So there's two ways that we can deal with the world. One is you take care of the world. That there is a physical things in the world, material things in the world, and that's what you do. And uh, you, you are Mavari, the Birurim of the world. Then you have things which you see the source of them which is much higher than the world. So that is the way it's captured in the world and through this you makayim the mitzvah, you fulfill the mitzvah of Pidyan Shvoyim. First these um, sparks were regular sparks and then when it came down, when it, when you have sparks that are actually captured by the world, you don't see the God in this, but you know it has a higher source, you're doing Pit Yishvoyim. But you should always know that Hashem gives them in your hand. But He wants the Aves Atachtoin also. So we have the power to bring godliness into the world. And it's not always a friction. It's not always, well, I cannot do it. I cannot accomplish it. Well, if you go according to Hashem and His Torah, you could accomplish. That's what it says. That Hashem, that if you um, tell the Goyim, the first Rashi in the Torah, the Rashi on the first Pasuk of the Torah, that Hashem gave Eretz Yisrael to the Jewish people, there wouldn't be no friction in Eretz Yisrael. There'll be no friction because they believe in the Torah too. And the whole idea of it is, is not just mitzvahs that you have to do. But he's, even behold Rachecha de Eyu, in every way you go, you know God. And come Asecha Yilushem Shemayim. That everything is for God's sake. And then you'll be successful if you take God with you. And that's what the Torah is telling you. You should never go towards your enemy face to face. You go above their face. You are above them. And then you'll never be afraid of them until the Shabisa Shivya about to even capture someone that was captured by them. And the same thing is with a person. We have two nefashes. We have a nefesh alikis and nefesh bahamis. Nefesh alikis is godly. Nefesh bahamis is not godly. 
and there is uh, sometimes is a friction over here. It says you have to even make yourself holy with the uh, holy things, all with permitted things. Just because you allowed to eat ice cream, just because you allowed to do this, you allowed to do that, doesn't mean you have to indulge in it. You have to make yourself holy. Even things that are holy are permitted. So the story, story of Richard the Masmid, that his host knew that Rabbi Yitzhak the Masmid is very, very holy and very careful with kosher food. So uh, he made sure that he brought the shaykhit to the house that Rabbi Yitzhak the Masmid should be able to see the shaykhit. He saw him shechting it, slurring the animal. And he saw the, pa the way they made it kosher, salted it and everything else. And he saw the way they cooked it. He bought new pots also, everything new, perfect. After it's all cooked up, Richard Master says, I'm not interested. But it's kosher. What is the problem now? It says, Kaddish Zatzmachah If there was a question of a kashrus, I would never have a, I would never want it. Now this is mamish kosher, I can say, make myself holy and remove myself for it, from it. So that's the idea. And after Vachasar Savia Vasima, that what is the idea of uh, that you captured a, a, a son that was in captivity? So it says you have to cut her here, take away from her any additions of their intellect. That means their intellect is corrupt. Take away the additional stuff. And then the Vasas Sipanera is the nails, which is Maisei Amides. The added indulgement in certain things you have to take away. And then Vasas Aviyavima, then she cries. Yerach Yom, a month, which that is the month of Elo. Until we have the actual that, that she, he has to marry her, if he wants. And that's the Yichud of the Eivishter with Mashiach. So now we have the idea of the, the person also, within the person, not the world, is that you have a Nefshah Bahamas. Your Nefesh of Bahamas came 13 years earlier than Nefesh of Likis. So he has a, a Taina. And then you have also what well it says in the minor Lashin when you go to a Beis Achayim, a burial place of a Tzad, you can say the minor Lashin. And over there it says, the nefesh is holy, which the nefesh is the lowest level of the neshama, and the neshama is holy, and the goof is holy, the body is holy. But nevertheless, it conceals over godliness. How do we accomplish, where do we have that, um, that overpowering our, our evil inclination? that covers over godliness, that is the time of davening. When a person davens, he elevates his, his nefesh of Bahamas too. Like it says, davening is shas place to shas kirva. It's a time to uh, elevate our nefesh of Bahamas. 
And that is Avaida. Now you have two different mitzvahs. That means we have to take care of the Meichin, we have to take care of the Midois. So you have mitzvahs loisasa, mitzvahs ase, mitzvahs loisasa. You have the mitzvahs which are ase, and you have the mitzvahs loisasa. And then you have the mitzvahs of the Rabbana. And we shall have a power on everything. So mitzvahs I say that is mitzvahs which are limited. Put on tefillin, hear the shofar, give tzedakah, neshek, lighting Shabbos candles. All those things are limited. So therefore, there's a mitzvah to do it, and it clothes and it clothes itself into the thing that you're doing the mitzvah. And the one that's doing the mitzvah. Mitzvah Loisasa cannot come down into a vessel. And that's why you negate certain things. That's the Mitzvah Loisasa. Then you have the Mitzvah Rabbanam, which is even greater. Mitzvah Rabbanam are Mitzvah say also. And that's why this non limited. Light can come down even into your kalim. And a person has three rulers to his body. And the idea is that we have to remove all additions to our moichin all the extra baggage which is on the head. Which well, is a problem if you have a very big chuk, a large amount of here is a shiloh where to put on tefillin. Tefillin shadesh. So therefore, you have to take away the maysiyah maychin and the additions to your heart which you have indulged in certain things. And you have to make a cheshmer nefesh what you accomplished. And you have the word melech. Mayach leif and kaved. Mayach is the meisei ha-meichin. Leif is the meisei ha-leif. And when you accomplish those two things, being pure with your mind, being pure with your heart, then you have the kaveh, which is my sebepoyal, the liver, which is my sebepoyal. So Be'ez Hashem, through us doing our part, will come to the time of Yemei Mashiach, when we'll have the reward of all our, of our actions in time of Golos. And before we even come to next week's Parsha, Will be kisave el arz hashar areka. Not only the midos, the seven that lands, but keni knizi kadmaini, and over there we'll do the mitzvahs kemitzvah seinacha. And it should be taken from Yad Mamish now. Long live our master teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master teacher and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever.